third and 11. Litton wants to throw. And finally unleashes it, and a wonderful grab is made by Williams at the 42-yard line in Kent territory. All kinds of time right there for Chase Linton to throw the football. You can see him hanging here in the pocket, buying time. The veteran herd line getting him the opportunity to move around, find Marcel Williams. Discipline by Marshall. you got to have eye control today. Cannot be freelancing and trying to do someone else's job. And Holly gives way to the running back on first down, and Marshall's prevent unit stacks it up. Excited to hear these fans get loud. Curious to see what the flashes have up their sleeve. Holly from the gun. He will keep and pitch. And Chris Jackson stiffs Stiffed it out pretty well on the far side there as the pitch was made to Raekwon James. Raekwon James, receiver, like to move him around a little bit. Motion guy, they bring him back. You can see him motion back in the backfield here, but a great job by the herd, getting penetration. Ford doing a good job, Blake Keller. And NFL performer Bobby Carpenter and Mark Martin, great to have you with us, Marshall. Deep in its own territory, but Chase Litton will take care of that as he rifles the pass to Tyree Brady. Nice drive starter there by Chase Litton. So the herd staring at second and 10, and Litton rolls, fires to Juracek, and Juracek fights his way to the 25 yard line. Some great pressure right there by Kent State off, off of the play action. You see Chase Litton coming off the fake there, being pursued heavily. Doing a good, the Flash is doing a good job trying to bottle him up. Good job finding Juracek and put, There's times that a quarterback where you throw the football, and you know as soon as you release it, you wish you had that thing on a string to pull it back. <laughs> a nice sigh of relief after that. Outstanding punter here in Kari Vedvik for Marshall. And the Golden Flashes. Well, they went for the golden flashes. Holly keeps again, and Chase Hancock is there to meet him right at the 46-yard line. Hancock, a wonderful story out of Beckley, West Virginia, a walk-on, second leading tackler on the team, number 37, coming in with 107 career stops. Chase Hancock doing a good job, but you see Frankie Hernandez, Art, uh, Artis Johnson bringing some pressure early. This is his third carry of the season. He picked up four, and he hands it off, and Marshall reads it pretty nicely as Will Matthews gets the call. And all that Paul Haynes has been through, you know he's loving this down here, getting a chance to just be a part of this, make decisions such as the one he just did, and that is to go for it here. Fourth and one from the nine, no score between Marshall and Kent State. Wallace barks out the signals, and I think Marshall may have stopped the Golden Flashes as Keyshawn Gamble got the handoff. And Malik Gant flying up from his safety position to make the stop in the backfield. You can see him right there fill up, get some help from Litton and company now start from their own nine. Litton looks to throw, guns it, and the catch is made. And still on his feet is Brady. A nice catch by Tyree Brady there, finding a soft spot in the zone. Chase Litton identifies it and even picks up a couple, couple yards after the catch. You see him here sitting right there between the linebackers, making a nice move. Second down and nine from the 21. Play fake, Litton throws, Williams catches, and produces a first down for the herd out to the 30. Parker again on the stop for Kent State. Sometimes you're having some trouble. You go to a little uh, up-tempo attack, get Litton out on the perimeter again. Good job. Third down eight from the 32. Bringing pressure by the flashes. Litton with time. Guns it, Brady makes the catch, and a flag. 
So a fresh set of down starting at the 41 and Litton goes to Juracek who makes the great grab and Juracek tight ropes it down the sideline and he will step out right at midfield nine yard pickup Bobby. Nice quick passing game there. The other part of this Marshall offense they like. The Lake calls it kind of a West Coast style system. Wants to get the ball out quick. You have a tight end like Juracek get to it, get him the ball out there in the flat. Does a good job. Litton again has time and rifles it out. And the catch is made. Williams again, and Williams has first down yardage for the Thundering Herd at the 47 yard line. Fourth catch, fifth catch today by Marcel Williams. You're seeing against some man coverage with two safeties deep. Chase Litton has time, throws the out route away from the defensive back. Williams staying busy indeed. 15 yard pitch and catch there. Litton wants to throw again, and this time it's Willie Anderson making the grab at the 35-yard line. Johnson, Willie Johnson, outstanding player, good speedster out of Fort Myers, Florida. And this is what Paul Haynes was worried about, the matchup on the perimeter with these talented herd receivers, not just Tyree Brady. So they start it at the 30. Looks to throw. And broken up there. Nice job on the defensive side for Brandon Drayton, freshman, red shirt. Number eight for the Thundering Herd. Brandon Drayton from his safety position locked up on Mike Kerrigan. And a nice ball right there by Ballas, throwing it to his back shoulder and not panicking. There's been some movement of the football up and down the field, just no one can convert on third down and, and put this thing in the end zone. So Marshall goes to work on first down and making the grab will be Willie Johnson. So well, you enjoy it watch as a defensive player watching a defensive struggle. But they've moved the football here. And George Bullis, who's been the quarterback since the injury to Nick Colley, and he stopped by Chase Hancock and becoming a key contributor on the field. Bullis wants to run option now and staying at home. The Thundering Herd D. Punning, Paul Haynes said, is not the worst play in football. Sometimes it's a win. Third of 15 from the 39, and Bullis takes off with it. Kent State just one for five now on third down. Haven't been able to possess the football the way they like it. Coming up is Rodriguez, and then Rodriguez well, he just sort of froze the cover team. Crips to the bottom of your screen. Bullis back to pass. Got some time and ball up in the air. And, well, good job there by Malik Gant. Good job by Gant. <laughs> Bullis trying to slide it in against some tight man coverage. Marshall there playing one safety deep. Jumping on these Kent State receivers, understanding this is not what they typically do. Bulls hanging in the pocket, delivering a fairly catchable football. But Gant doing a great job with the coverage right there, locking down. Now you got some great receivers. You got your check at tight end. A lot of weapons for Litton. Right now, second and 10. Litton across the middle, and the catch is made by Johnson, who's got speed still on his feet, and he tried to. Put the spin move on there at the 41 yard line. Goes down, but a nice catch by Willie Johnson. Defensive coordinator Ben Needham playing some man right there. Single high safety in the middle of the field. Willie Johnson doing a great job breaking underneath. Great coverage there by Demetrius Monday. It's a nice move. Litton gives it to Davis and Davis. It pushes those legs hard and goes straight ahead. Shows his great strength. Outstanding young center for Marshall. Snaps it back. Litton stands tall. Now he's going to take off with it. Litton can run when he needs to, and he does there and gets it inside the 20-yard line. Big first down by Chase Litton, using his legs, looking around. and That's, that's one of the things that Bill Leg was talking about this to me earlier this week is, hey, 
This guy can run. He's a better athlete than you think when he pulls the ball down. It is a seven to nothing game. Marshall in the lead, and here's how it happened, Bobby Carpenter. Chase Linton doing a great job, buying some time in the red zone. You see him scrambling around, using the arm strength to throw back across his body, finding Marcel. So fresh set of downs for Bullis, and again, they love this play right here, but it is read beautifully by Artis Johnson, the linebacker, newcomer for the herd. Great job by Johnson identifying it. Kent State crosses the 50-yard line. Most teams like to take a deep shot and play action. The Flashers don't really throw the football that much, so they like to utilize that reverse off the option. They hit it to not to be confused in the second. Nice stop. You say about Johnson, he passes the eye test, and he passes the test there. And then, how about that play defensively by Brandon Drayton, the redshirt freshman. The safeties for this, this thundering herd, Gant and Drayton, have done a great job. They play the position the right way. They have good eye control, doing a great job getting his hand in there, swatting it down. Ball is putting the ball on the ground, burning a valuable down here in the red zone. A new loss on the play, second and 10. Bolas wants to throw. And this one is picked off. Chris Jackson took one 72 yards to the house against Miami. This one won't go for six, but Marshall has the football back. And a nice run, showing some nice athleticism. Not a whole lot, a lot of room to run. And you see James Alexander, the big Mike linebacker, finishing him off. Low snap, Litton scoops it up and gets it out to King. And King makes the grab and then races up to the 20. He'd rather trade that in for a white helmet, though, don't you think? All right, a little reverse, and it's Price getting the flip from Bullets. And, well, Cobb couldn't get him but Ryan B said hello. Nice shot, Ryan B all over the field tonight. Second and 10, Ballas wants to throw. Pressure coming and down he goes. And speaking of B, there he is again. A couple of uh, offsides early in the game. I would say that he's more than earned his way back into the good graces. Making plays all over the field for the herd up front is Ryan B. See him shedding the guard right there, getting the pressure and coming down with the sack on uh, George Bolas. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Litton on a long count. Has protection, has a man. And it's Williams making the grab. And that is first down yardage as they mark him down at the 35, 14 yard gain. Busy night for Williams. Great job there by Williams. Chase Linton identifying the man coverage. Bill Legg's seen the offensive coordinator that they've been getting some man coverage from Ken on third down. Runs a little rub route with Juracek and Williams able to pick up the first down. Juan Robinson made the stop. Litton again looking to throw, being pursued by John Cunningham and gets the pass away. And it's grabbed there by Brady at the 44 yard line. Robinson we talked about uh, had to miss the first half. Bobby for Kent State, but now in there, big number 90, he was pursuing Chase Litton. Big number 90, John Cunningham, very talented defensive tackle, first team. Kent State opening up with defending national champion Clemson, Marshall falling last week to NC State. Bolas wanting to throw, and he's gonna be taken down. Dozier comes through and puts the Kent State quarterback to the turf. Don Treadwell trying to take a shot on first down, catch the herd secondary napping. And a great job there by Dozer off the edge against the herd defense that might be bringing some pressure. James in motion. Bola steps up, takes off, still manages to stay up there for a moment and then finally the celebration at Dick Stadium as the Thundering Herd would lead there with that 36 to 29 win. That's the 11th straight victory for Marshall in the series that is tied 18 18. All right, Bobby Carpenter, Marshall back on offense. And King gets the call. And King twisting and turning his way near midfield. Trey King from the 25 yard line and races up to the 40. 
six yard line. Doc Holliday electing to go with the freshman in here, King. Finally finding a seam, increasing the Golden Flash's defense for a big gain. But Anthony Anderson in the backfield along with King. And here's King again, and King's got room. Into Kent State territory as he takes it to the 37 yard line. Finally, this Golden Flash's defensive line starting to wear down. They're bringing their net, their Second safety up to help stop the run. And King just finds a seam as those young legs dominated by the flashes. Now have held the ball for almost 25 minutes in the game. Ball is in trouble, wrapped up by Amari Cobb and taken down. And this is a big drive here for Kent State. They've got to at least flip the field. They're a team that's going to take five to six minutes at a minimum to drive 90 yards. Cobb doing a great job off the perimeter. Bullis not able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. Off the sophomore. Turned a fumble for 12 yards. Earlier this season and Marshall again pursuing nicely defensively and they will take Rankin down right at the line of scrimmage. Defensive coordinator Chuck Heater liking to bring a little heat with Artez Johnson inside. Flashes can't get to the Julian Edelman of the Patriots. Doing a great job in the NFL. And how can we forget Jack Lambert? <laughs> Here's Bolas from his own end zone. Throws the pass and nearly intercepted. Marquise Couch applying some pressure to Bolas in the end zone right there. And that's what Don Treadwell was worried about. As you see Bolas here scrambling around, Couch chasing him down. Ill-advised play, and it looked like Couch may have got a hand on his arm, throwing the ball late over the middle of the field. With the success they had with King on the last drive. Litton feeds it out here to Juracek, who makes the grab and then is stopped at the 45-yard line. So that's a seven-yard pickup, second and three. Tackle made by Manny Lawrence Burke. Nice job by Burke out there on the perimeter. But you see the big athletic Ryan Juracek. Second and eight. Fake it to King. High pass, Brady skies and makes the grab. Nice leaping catch by Brady on the far side of the field at the 46 yard line. Takes a shot too from Daryl Marshall coming over from his corner position to hit Brady as he catches the ball. Thrown a little high there by Linton. But you know what, when you have a very talented receiver out there. Third and two. Three wide to the bottom of your screen, including your check. Linton got a man in stride. Brady to the 25. And I think they've got something going right now. With Demetrius Monday out, he was grabbing his knee a little bit earlier. They go with Daryl Marshall in a quarter, cornerback, and you see Brady getting inside, running a little skinny post right there. The younger Daryl Marshall back up coming in, trying to stop one of the best receivers in Conference USA. King still in the backfield with Litton. He gets the pitch. King inside the 20 and gets it to about the 16. Feet might have come out from under him, and otherwise King might be in the end zone. I think the Hurt offense has found a little something running the ball here with King. Great on the perimeter, solid speed, good burst. See him trying to cut back, just slips a little bit. Hurt six of 13 here on third down. And here's Anderson who can be a load. If you're Chase, and if you're Chase Linton here, don't throw an interception. That's all Doc Holliday wants. Linton going to take off with it. Litton inside the five. Litton is into the end zone. Chase Litton, 14 yards out. No interception. How about a touchdown instead? Even better. <laughs> Even better. Chase Litton looked down the field a little bit. Thought about throwing the football. Besides, hey, why don't I pull this thing down and use some of that athleticism that no one thinks I have? See him sliding in the pocket. A little bit of pressure pulls that thing down. 
and a great job. Concentrated nicely, and here is Chase Linton, number 14, helping to put the Thundering Herd up by 14 here in Huntington. For the flashes. Second and five from the 30. Crum steps up, takes off, and grabbing him from behind is Ryan B to slow him down, and then Dobson. See what Ryan B can do right here, some pass rush. Crum in trouble, and just all kinds of company. And Devon Durant out of Greenwood, South Carolina, the red shirt senior makes the stop. You see the pocket collapsing right there, a host. Crum, two-step drop, he's in trouble. I'll tell you what, he did a great job of slipping away, but finally he is taken down by Damian Dozier. B was there, Jaquan Uli was there. Kent State, I tell you what, you got to give credit to Crum. I mean, he, he avoided a lot of defenders there, but finally they brought him down on that fourth down play. And now a great opportunity here for the herd to try to run this clock out. Going back to the young buck, He's King. Breaking. Faulkner got his first career start in that game against Clemson. Here is Tyler King again, carving his way into Kent State territory. First and 10 from the 47 yard line. Chase Litton will hand it to Tyler King again. Boy, he is a slippery individual. Run the football, try to get a couple. And if you can here crease he goes. it, we'll take it for a touchdown, even better. And that's exactly what Tyler King does, racing 29 yards to the end zone. And that is when you see a broken flashes defense right there. Getting worked on here in the second half. Quan Robinson coming up in the safety position. Both of those happening here at Jones C. Edwards Stadium. Golden flashes. Crum fires it out. And Eli Gates is going to make the stop of Mike Kerrigan. And that is the final play of the game. And Marshall has knocked off. The Kent State Golden Flashes by a final score of 21 to nothing. Well, Bobby, great being with you here tonight. Just uh, some quick thoughts on this football game. Well, first of all, terrific contest by both teams. Kent State hanging tough, able to run the football with George Bullis, even after losing their veteran quarterback in Nick Holly. But to me, the story of the night was Tyler King coming in in the fourth quarter, helping to put this game on ice for the Hurt offense. Chase Linton doing a nice job controlling the football, getting these, these high-quality receivers involved. Big win for Doc Holliday's bunch.